Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using windowshomeserver.com. In this video, I'll show you how to install the black box add-in from Tentacle Software. Let's get started. Once you've copied over the add-in to your software folder, you'll notice a prompt for your Windows Home Server. Click on Settings, click on Add-ins, go to Available, and verify that the black box add-in is available. Click on Install. Wait for the add-in to install. And then wait for a notification that the console will now close. The console will close. All you have to do is log back into the console and it'll bring it up. Scroll to the right in the top part of the console and click on Black Box for Windows Home Server. You can see here that all of the hardware sensors are now available for my Windows Home Server. Current values, minimum and maximum values are also available. The Black Box user interface can be customized to show or hide different groups of hardware sensors and alerting rules. To group, just right mouse click on the heading and choose which way you'd like to group. With those of you with models that support adjustable fan speed, you can adjust the fan speed by using the fan speed slider in the context menu of the connected fan PWM sensors. For those of you that want to use alerting rules, alerting rules are defined by the administrator and perform a variety of actions, including alerting users or even shutting down the server. You can log an alert to in a file, log an alert to an event log, create a Windows Home Server health notification, set a fan speed, or change the power state. The alerting rules are viewed by the alerting rules tab and created or edited using the expanders at the bottom of the black box window. Click on alerting rules and expand create new rule. For example, when Intel Celeron 440 is greater than 75 degrees C, then create a Windows health notification as a warning. Then click on create the rule. You can do additional warnings based on these conditions. For example, when Intel Celeron 440 is greater than 80 degrees C, then change the power state to shut down. Force the shutdown and change your notification to what is appropriate for your system. I will leave mine at 5 and then I will create the rule. Again, these are enabled and we are set. To delete rules, just click on the delete button and you can delete the alerting rules. Again, let's cover this one more time. Click on our alerting rules. Click on create new rule. Choose a condition. For example, Intel Celeron 440 is greater than 75 degrees C. Then I want to send a health notification for a warning. And then I click on the create rule. You can edit an existing rule, you can reset a rule, you can delete a rule, or disable a rule. Anytime that the alerting rule is enabled and the condition is met, it will give you the notification that you're asking for. For example, my CPU did get over 75 degrees C and it gave me a network warning. You can see here. Your trial version goes for 30 days. To click a license, click here to purchase a license from Tentacle Software. Thank you to Tentacle Software for releasing such a useful tool and add-in for Windows Home Server version 1.